week 29. I'm getting so much closer. <gasps> ah! Yeah, so 29 weeks, 11 more to go, and here we go. So this has been a very, very crazy week, um, aside from the fact that, you know, he's growing. But uh, I also got to find out that he was still a boy. <laughs> and I've been to the ER now almost twice. I almost went again. Um, and then I've got all those other issues. I had a biopsy and yeah, it's been a crazy week. But other than that, everything's healthy. I'm healthy, he's healthy, and we're just keeping it going. <laughs> This week, Baby Wheels, also known as Kale, um, is the size of an England cotton-tailed rabbit. A little England cotton-tailed rabbit. Yeah. So that puts him at about 16 inches tall, I guess, and around three pounds now. And I don't know. I feel, you know, he feels just as heavy this week as he did last week, so. He doesn't feel too much heavier to me. Yeah, he's getting so big that um, I literally can feel his little body parts in my belly now, especially when they're sticking out. I can tell where he is. Now, granted, I don't know what body part it is, but um, I can definitely feel it now, which is really fun. I've liked that. I like to be able to feel body parts and guess what they are. I guess it's his knee. I, I swear it felt like either a knee or an elbow once, but or it could have been a foot, who knows. <laughs> he likes to keep his hands by his face. So um, I don't know if I'll ever get to feel those depending on where his head is. If he's already head down, then I will probably never feel his hands except for down there. So it's probably his knees or his elbows. Here's a good one for you. So my app says you might be feeling more constipation um, as, as he gets bigger. And let me tell you, I have not had an issue with that. I have not had an issue with that with Valeska. I have not had an issue with that with uh, Erilyn. If anything, being pregnant has regulated me to the point where, I mean, people always are, for instance, when I went in for my pains, um, they were just making sure it wasn't gas. And I'm like, it's not gas because my, I, I go every day. <laughs> I don't have an issue with constipation at all. I, it also says that Kale's muscles and lungs are continuing to develop and as well as his fat. So I need to eat a lot of stuff that will help with those. Which shouldn't be too hard seeing as I like to eat all the time. <laughs> I don't have those issues like I did first trimester anymore where I would go weeks where I just didn't want to eat anything. Uh, no, not anymore. I eat all the time. I like have to snack every two hours. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> but what's been really yummy going into foods lately, uh, cravings and whatnot, it's not so much a craving as it is um, just something that's really good. I think is really good and I guess he thinks is really good and it fills me for a while. It's those rice cakes, the caramel ones especially. Mm -hmm. Those are yummy and they have helped at least control my eating somewhat because <laughs> they fill me so much. Um, but a craving is popsicles. I am now starting to crave popsicles. I ran out and I, I got mad. <laughs> <laughs> when I ran out because because my husband left the um, empty box and he swears up and down it wasn't him but I didn't grab any then again it could be my pregnancy brain who knows um, that the the box was empty in the fridge and I got really upset because I was really wanting a popsicle so I went out and got myself two boxes this time <laughs> um, as for me I have not weighed myself here at home but at the hospital I was weighing in at about up 15 pounds 15 16 pounds I was getting really close to um, my 20 pound mark which 
I don't um, blame one bit because of my eating habits. Like I said last time, I'm getting more and more lazy and I, my motivation level has definitely dropped. It has definitely dropped. It's gotten so bad that I have like second guessed myself on wanting to work out. I'm doing it and there are days I can't do it because like when I have those cramping um, thigh pains, uh, I take it an I take it easy for a day so I don't work out at all which probably hurts me as well <laughs> and then there's my issue I had with the biopsy where I we are pretty certain I have lichen sclerosis yay um, which came out of nowhere it came out of nowhere I don't know why I'm having so many medical issues this pregnancy but uh, so we think it's that and I had a biopsy and ever since that biopsy it's been really really bad it's been really bad um, and I'm just waiting for the results on that so we can get something to help because there's just it hurts to move around so much and it just makes it harder to want to work out or just because it hurts it really hurts and those of you who know what lichen sclerosis is can understand. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm having it pretty bad. <laughs> so, my motivation level for my working out has gotten lower, but I am still doing it. I am still doing it. Thank you. Sleeping wise, I am tossing and turning more. I keep waking up I keep waking myself up by doing so I toss and turn a lot more just to try to get comfortable and it's been really hard also um, that's which is probably why I wake myself up because my husband <laughs> poor Greg he broke his hand <laughs> so and it happens to be his right hand which happens to be the side that I sleep on. So it just, it makes it harder for me to find a comfortable position, um, especially when he's asleep and he moves all over the place. And there have been days where I've bumped into it. Oops. But yeah, so I'm constantly tossing and turning, getting that comfortable position that has been proven to be a bit harder now, especially when, you know, you got a belly. A belly with a baby that is like you know 16 inches long <laughs> and I don't know I'm starting to get that turtle feeling if anybody felt that where um, when you wake up and you try to sit up and you can't do it and you try and roll over and you can't do it because it's so hard yeah I'm getting that too <laughs> I'm just getting so big ah, and I can I can feel him right now right here <laughs> so all in all, he's a happy baby. He's a very happy baby. The times that I've gone to the ER and gotten hooked up to just monitor the heart rate and the movements he was doing, I always get told that he moves quite often. And I was like, yeah, especially around 10, 11 o'clock at night. He has a full-blown spaz party in my belly. <laughs> Um, so he moves all the time and I've noticed recently that uh, he he moves every time they try to do a fetal Doppler to get the heart he'll move for that and he won't it, it takes them forever to find his heartbeat because he keeps moving uh, so I got a happy boy in there huh 11 more weeks to go and that is my update for me anyways this time around and we'll see our belly now. There's the baby. I'm getting so big. Ta da! I'm gonna grab some of my booty. All right, so that's all I've got now, and we will see you next week for 30 weeks. I am 
going to be 30 weeks. That means I've only got 10, six to 10 more weeks left. Six to 10, depending on when he wants to come. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Anyways, okay, so see you next time. <laughs>